it's a little closer to home because I have real sympathy for for the uh, fishermen in the Gulf of Mexico and I have real fear that that oil is going to get into the Gulf Stream and <clears throat> it's going to affect my life. Gulf of Mexico is a breeding ground for blue, giant bluefin tuna and I guarantee you my fishery will suffer because of what's happening down there. Um, I'm absolutely bewildered um, at the response by BP and um, it's almost like the Three Stooges trying to fix this right. Hey Mo, let's try Pop Kill. So what are they going to try next? And here's the thing, I mean, um, and I don't know if this comes from me as a fisherman or me just from as whatever, like everyone else, but mm -hmm. if I spent my life and my career as unprepared as BP seems to have been mm -hmm. for the worst case scenario, I probably wouldn't be here doing this interview right now. I can imagine drilling in 5,000 feet of water for oil. That's a mile of water and not knowing exactly what to do if something like this happened and not having something that would work. Yes, it's really, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm kind of pissed off now because it's just, it's mind-boggling 2010 that something like this could happen and you don't have a way to fix it. Overfishing should now, should no longer be everyone's biggest concern about the ocean. It mm -hmm. should be back to oil pollution. Really? Overfishing? I'm dangling a hook? Give me a break. At least the ones that I'm killing mm -hmm. are going to feed someone, not just wasteful slaughter.